for us to study the Word of God. And again, I'm going to teach you something that uh, will work for church attendance or to work for before we do daily devotion or whenever we're going to have family uh, devotion, whenever we're going to read the Word of God. Here's a couple of things that we can do. And James gives us some wisdom again in chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and the overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. And so James tells us, number one, before we encounter the word of God, there's something we need to do, and that is to cleanse ourselves. He says that we are to lay aside all filthiness. Now that's the idea of taking off all the old clothes, the outer part of us. Let's say we've been out hauling hay all day and we, we got hay down our neck and we're sweated and we've got dirt all over us and our clothes are just filthy. It is to lay aside all that and to wash ourselves, to get cleansed. Before we encounter the Word of God, if you want to hear from the Lord, uh, you have to have a clean heart and God will speak to you. Otherwise, what you're going to have is conviction. He's just going to simply convict you for the things that you've been doing. So lay aside, he says, all the filthiness. Then he says also the overflow of wickedness to lay it aside as well. Now this actually is a word used in the medical world, which literally means wax in the ear. And in fact, because he's saying we're fixing to get to listen to the Word of God, it's basically get your ears cleaned out so that you can hear clearly. And so get the wax out of your ear. So that's not that surface level of cleansing. That's that deeper level of cleansing. Repentance. Again, getting rid of things that would keep us from hearing the Word of God. So that's what we do before we encounter the Word of God. What do we do while we encounter the Word of God? He says, and receive with meekness the implanted Word. That word for receive means to draw to ourselves. It's like someone that's come up and you see them and you reach out there and you hug them. You just draw them to yourself. And we are to receive the Word of God. That is to do what we said uh, yesterday. That is to be very quick to listen, slow to speak, or to respond back and slow to get angry. Listen to what God is saying. Listen to the Word of God. Receive it unto yourself. And he says, receive it with meekness. That word for meekness means that uh, we are allowing it to take control or to have authority over us. So allow the Word of God to permeate your heart. He says, receive it like an implanted seed. That's the soil that receives the seed the good soil that is implanted and it will spring forth and bring forth fruit. When we receive the Word of God into our hearts and we cling to it and we hold on to it, then it will produce. It produces new attitudes, new actions, uh, new behaviors. It takes away the old uh, man we used to be and it replaces with a new creation. And so receive the Word he says, which is able to save your souls. Again, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So it's the Word of God received that leads us to salvation. Now, what do we do after we've encountered the Word of God? What are you going to do today now that you've received this devotion? You've heard this portion of Scripture. What are we to do? Well, he says here, but go be doers of the Word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. So we're to go out and do what the Bible tells us to do. What has the Word of God instructed us to do? To be slow to speak, be quick to listen, slow to anger? Well, go out and practice it. Go out and do it. If you only hear it and you even agree with it, say, so yeah, I think that's the way we should be, and that's the way Jesus was, but then you go out and do not do it, he says, you're deceiving yourself. It's receiving the Word of God. It's not just hearing the Word of God. It is responding correctly to what God has told us to do. So if God says, go be witnesses, then what are we to do? We'll go be witnesses. If God tells us to not be gossips, well, what do we do? We'll stop being gossipy. If we're not to have lust in our heart towards other people, then we are to make sure that we don't put ourselves in positions or do things that will stir up lust within us. 
We are to listen to the Word of God, and then we are to go out and do what God has told us to do. So let's go forth today and do that. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have given us a very clear understanding of our role in Bible study. We are to hear, to listen, to receive it unto ourselves. We're to cleanse our hearts uh, from the old, and Father, to allow your word to permeate our soul. And then, Father, we're to go out and to be what you want us to be. So, Father, we pray, do your creative work in us today. Help us to bear your image. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.